welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Customers' demand are often seasonal, so it may cause difficulty to maintain the schedule to properly utilize the company's resources with the fluctuating demand. With the aggregate planning, we can match the cost of production and company's resources with demand of the products, keeping cost of production at minimum. Aggregate planning is an intermediate range capacity planning that normally ranges from 2 to 18 months. It gives us idea about what quality of the material is to be procured and when should the material be procured. With these introductory benefits, let us see the definitions of aggregate planning. Aggregate planning is the process of writing, analyzing or maintaining the preliminary and approximate schedule of all the operations. So here comes the question. Why only make an approximate or aggregate planning at first? Because it is not possible to predict with accuracy the timing and volume of demand for every individual items. But this helps to plan for the initial budgeting requirements. Aggregate planning serves as a core foundation for other types of planning such as production scheduling and load leveling. If you want to know about production scheduling, please go through my video lecture on master production scheduling too. Aggregate planning is the input of master production schedule. That means we make a master production schedule only after aggregate planning. The difference between two is Aggregate planning is more holistic and the master production schedule portrays the type and quantity of individual items to be produced at the specific period of time. Let's understand this with example. See this example. Here we are planning for production of cars of future X family. The demand of cars for the first month is 250 and for the second month it is 300. So, I've taken this example as an aggregate planning. This planning serves as an input for master production schedule which is much broader. For example, here the model X family has been broken down into model X1 and model X2 for the month of January and February. There are 4 weeks and demand for each week and each product family has been shown here. So roughly we have taken here the aggregate planning as an input of the master production schedule. One thing uh, that is of core importance in aggregate planning is the plan must be in the units of measurement that can be easily understood by organizational non-operations personnel too because this planning is read by non-operations related personnel such as those involved in management, sales and procurement. For example, we can uh, communicate with the units and statements such as we need to produce 60 units of product X or we need to work for 60 hours per week to meet the demand or we need to sell some worth of products in a particular month and so forth. We learned that aggregate planning helps us to minimize the costs because here we are looking for cost effective way to use our resources during planning. With the minimization of overall cost of operation and procurement of the organization, aggregate planning also has other benefits such as minimization of the unnecessary inventory, it helps to minimize the fluctuation in the production rate and maximize the utilization of equipments. Aggregate planning is usually a 3 month, 6 month, 9 month, 12 month and 18 months rolling forecast. Basically, we go for rolling forecast rather than a single year forecast to match any changes in demand or supply so that revised aggregate planning can be made sooner. With this, we have come to the end of lecture. Aggregate planning is very important term. If you are looking for operations management, project management or production planning and control or quality management. If you aren't looking for these sorts of topics and related examinations in future, still the next session will be helpful to understand the aggregate planning in practical terms. 
so without delay let's start second session let's run the quiz the first scenario is paul is a production manager at abc chemicals paul wants to make a schedule for purchasing the products for first quarter of a certain year he made a business plan and wants to make an operation schedule according to the capacity of the machines and available resources which of the following types of planning should paul plan to make next is it master production schedule is it aggregate planning or is it business planning i will give you some time to think so you can pause the video now okay let me reveal the answer the correct answer is aggregate planning the master production schedule or production planning always follows the aggregate planning we are already given here that paul already has a business plan and is already in operations let us see the second question which of the following are not the benefits of aggregate planning first option we get exact forecast of number of materials and resources to be used in the production or that is needed second option we get rough idea of what quality of material is to be procured third we get a rough idea of when should the material be procured and the last one we get an estimation of resources to be procured in order to keep the pace or balance the rate of production and demand i will give you some time to think so you can pause the video now okay let me reveal the answer to this question we are looking for incorrect answer for this question so the incorrect option is the first one we do not get the exact forecast with the aggregate planning we can just estimate the demand of the product and resources we need in order to meet the demand of the customers in right volume and in right time before ending this lecture let me remind you to join my lean university's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my lean university's online library and get tons of free courses free books and lecture topics on project management lean and six sigma operations and supply chain productive and preventive maintenance quality maintenance data science industry and sales management agile and scrum kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free no strings attached as we have limited seats only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.